Here is an example problem on the longitudinal force analysis, longitudinal dynamic force analysis of the vehicle. So a rear wheel driven car is climbing a slope as shown over here and it has a traction force of 2000 Newton generated at the tire contact patch. And the initial velocity of the vehicle is 5 meters per second or 18 kilometers per hour. Drag effects are negligible since speed is low and the car is running on a road inclined at 2 degrees. So theta over here is 2 degrees which is this. Theta is 2 degrees. Rolling resistance coefficient to be considered is 0 0.0150. Total vehicle weight is 2000 kg and that vehicle weight acts at the center of gravity as shown over here by W red color arrow acting downwards. Wheelbase that is A plus B or L is 2500 millimeters. CG is located 1.4 meters aft of the front wheel that is towards the rear of the front wheel. That is the value of A is 1.4 meters. And value of B is nothing but L minus A. That is 2.5 minus 1.4 is 1.1. The height of the CG or the center of gravity from the ground from the road is 500 mm. This height H, H over here that is height of CG from the ground is 500 mm or 0.5 meters. So we need to find how much time will it take for the vehicle to reach 36 kilometers per hour. So we need to calculate the acceleration which is developed inside the vehicle because of the traction force of 2000 Newton and hence how much time does it take for the vehicle to reach to 36 kilometers per hour at that acceleration. So let's bring in the equation. This is the force balance equation fxf plus fxr which is the tractive force at front wheel plus tractive force at rear wheel is equal to w by g into ax which is the inertia plus rxf plus rxr which is the rolling resistance forces plus w sin theta which is this component w sin theta plus d which is the drag force. Considering d is equal to 0 the drag is negligible at low speeds theta is 2 fxf is 0 because it is rear wheel driven car so the tractive force at fx at the front wheel is 0. CRR here we are considered 0 0.0150 which is the coefficient of rolling resistance small a this value is 1.4 this value of b is 1.1 fxr this value is 500 newton w is 2000 into 9.81 newton 2000 is in kg w is the weight that is the force acting downwards 2000 into 9.81 the acceleration due to gravity which gives us 19620 newton from the moment balance equations, we had the equations for the WF and WR derived as shown over here. RxF and RxR are CRR into WF and CRR into WR respectively, which is the coefficient of rolling resistance into the vertical load acting at the front and rear wheels respectively. So substituting the terms over here, which are, are known, D is zero, HA is not considered here because the whole term becomes zero. W is known, G is known, AX has to be found out, H is known which is 0.5, 500 mm. W is known, sin theta, theta is known which is 2 degrees, H again is known, W cos theta A divided by L, L is the wheelbase. So substituting all the values, we get WR in terms of AX. So WR is equal to 400 AX plus 11,117.45. And WF is in terms of AX again, substituting the values and we will get WF and WR. So substituting the equation over here, in place of RXF and RXR, we are replacing uh, CRR WF and CRR WR and in place of WF and WR, we are replacing these terms. This one here and this one here, we are replacing in place of WF and WR. And also sine theta is known, sine 2, W is known, D is 0, replacing all the other terms. So on further simplification, we get this final line over here. All terms are in terms of AX. Then finally we can find the AX value. And that AX value it comes out to be 0.49 meter per second squared. AX is the acceleration of the vehicle. 
Now, if you want to calculate the time taken, so we know the acceleration of the vehicle and we know the initial velocity, which is u, which is 5 meter per second, 18 kilometers per hour. And we know the required final velocity is 36 kilometers per hour. So we can calculate the acceleration required to move from 5 meter per second to 10 meter per second. And for moving from 5 to 10, how much time will it take is t. So we can find that using this equation. a is equal to v minus u divided by t where v is the final velocity 10, u is the initial velocity and t is the time taken. So 0.49 is equal to 10 minus 5 divided by t, t is 10 seconds. So it will take 10 seconds for the vehicle at that acceleration of 0.49 to reach from 18 kilometers per hour to 36 kilometers per hour. That is considering that the tractive force 2000 Newton does not change. So at tractive force of 2000 Newton, this is the time taken by the vehicle to reach from 5 to 10 meter per second.